Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price. We then also gonna have a look into Ethereum, then into the DXY and at the end also into Nasdaq. And uh, before we start with the content, because today we're also going to have a look again into the Pi Cycle indicator, because uh, right now I'm getting a lot of messages uh, why we are getting a breather here and why we should go towards our bullish targets for now of around 57 to 61 thousand dollars if we have a sell signal in the pi cycle indicator so i want to show you something that maybe changes your idea because of the pi cycle indicator so that's why we're gonna cover that again uh, in today's video but first before we start a little reminder go and claim your one thousand dollars in bonus over on bybit if you're trading like me over on a Bybit with leverage Bitcoin and other cryptos, then make sure to claim your $1,000 in bonus. You just have to open up a new account with my referral link and then go to this bonus claim website. Here you can claim then your $1,000 in bonus so you can do some free trades here on Bybit. And if you don't want to trade yourself with leverage, then try out Bitscap. You find also my referral down below here in the description to get the pro plan completely for free for 14 days so you can use their very efficient trading bots directly on your exchanges so you can connect your exchanges like coinbase binance and so on to this platform and then run the trading bots as you can see wherever the price is going they are very profitable and although you can do arbitrage here so definitely try it out for 14 days if it's paying out for you you can upgrade to the monthly plan which is starting only from 19 dollars a month and now my friends let's start with the content we're gonna start here in the one hour time frame because yesterday i told you that it's very likely that here we're gonna find a bottom at around forty-eight thousand dollars and we're gonna see a breather to the upside towards fifty-seven thousand, maybe even up here towards sixty-one thousand dollars similar like in 2013 after a local top and in my opinion it's very likely that we are about to reach those targets in the next coming days and weeks and then we're gonna see if we're gonna continue our bull market i think the chances are also there that we could continue our bull market and create new all-time highs very soon without any further correction but if here we're gonna top out if here we're getting a lower high then in my opinion that is a warning sign that we could be heading towards uh, maybe a prolonged correction phase or a little bear market during the summer and then during uh, autumn winter then we gear up again towards new all-time highs and continue our uh, bull market towards uh, the real cycle top of this bull market so yesterday or overnight we had this nasty dump here below this ascending triangle in the one hour time frame and uh, this was a quite nasty dump here because we created a lower low in the one hour time frame and although we broke below the main support here of around forty nine thousand three hundred dollars so this was almost impossible to trade unless you were already in a long position because after dropping here you can see that we created a bullish divergence in the one hour time frame we had a higher low in the rsi and a lower low in the price and not only we had a bounce to the upside but also we went immediately straight through again our um, old support here of forty nine thousand three hundred dollars and even crushed here fifty one thousand dollars and went straight up here towards the next fibonacci retracement where i told you that here we should be facing some resistance at around uh, fifty four thousand dollars uh, you see that although the 200 moving average is here in the one hour time frame so as expected here we are getting some problems and i also told you yesterday that most likely if here we're getting already some problems we're coming back down towards fifty one thousand dollars to confirm this new support and then head higher towards our next potential resistance here at around fifty five thousand dollars 
So in the one hour time frame, it's very likely that here we are getting a pullback down towards 51. And here, in my opinion, it's good to open up a long position if you think that we are heading towards 57 to $61,000. This is also where I'm gonna add more into my long position that currently is still underwater. But right now the funding fees are so low and right now you also get paid by holding a long position. So the funding rates are again in negative so no problem keeping up a long position right now also for the long term at least until the funding rates are rising again and uh, that's why i'm going to add more into my long position here at fifty one thousand dollars we are getting here a sell signal so most likely we're coming down to retest it and then hopefully have a bounce to the upside and also crush here this fifty three thousand dollar resistance that we have for now um we can also pull out the ema ribbons because uh, in the one hour time frame right now we are back in an uptrend here based on the EMA ribbon so we shouldn't go again lower than uh, $51,000 or at least close one hour candles below $51,000 so that we are coming down to test this important price level in my opinion it's very likely in the next coming hours but uh, that should be then a good uh, long entry and of course also a good buy uh, opportunity uh, for the long term of course because uh, this could be the bottom I'm not calling this right now the absolute bottom and we're gonna continue our bull run for now but it's for sure a bottom for now and that's why in my opinion it's not a bad idea to look here for good long opportunities uh, especially if we can maintain here the uptrend in the one hour time frame and once we are closing one hour candles above the 200 moving average so above $53,000 I'm pretty confident that we're gonna see nice follow through to the upside here uh, towards 57 to $61,000 so the one hour time frame is starting to look again uh, more bullish and if we go now over into the four hour time frame you can see that here we are not out of the woods yet we have some uh, bullish uh, signals uh, the first one is here that we are closing of course four hour candles above the 9 and 20 moving average down here at $51,000 and that's why in my opinion it's very likely that we are coming down to test uh, these important moving averages and price level in the four hour time frame after this uh, breakout here to the upside we didn't come down to test this potential new support here so that's why in my opinion it's very likely that in the next coming hours uh, we're gonna see uh, a retest of $51,000 and then hopefully also here start to trade and close four hour candles above the EMA ribbons because here we are still in the, in a downtrend but as soon as we can close four hour candles above $53,000 so above the EMA ribbons we should be good to go up here towards the 200 moving average right here at $57,000 that is the first potential top area here for this rally and if we're able to push higher the next uh, dangerous zone is up here at around $61,000 in my opinion between $57 to $61,000 we're gonna see if we are able to then start uh, to continue uh, to create uh, new all-time highs if we are pushing higher because in that case it's uh, very obvious that we also gonna take out the old all-time high here of $65,000 if we are able to go above $61,000 so everything is going to be depending what will happen once we are reaching these levels up here which in my opinion is very likely that we're going to reach it maybe within this week latest uh, um, in the beginning of may and the other good thing in the four hour is of course that the rsi right now is above the 50 level this is what i wanted to see now the last uh, thing that is important is that money flow is turning back into a positive so as soon as we have a positive money flow again then in my opinion we're gonna see an explosive move to the uh, upside which also can bring us uh, above $61,000 if the bulls are strong enough but at least for now the four hour time frame is looking like that most likely we're coming back down to test the 50 level in the RSI or to test this important moving average here and then continue uh, towards um, the next target of $55,000 and now if we go over into the daily time frame here you can see that right now i told you all the yesterday my friends we are about to get a buy signal in the daily time frame and then we're gonna see what will happen because in the daily time frame we are in a downtrend we are below the ema ribbons and if here we are getting a confirmed buy signal so if today we can close above fifty one thousand dollars this buy signal is confirmed 
and even though this could be a very powerful one which can take us easily here towards the top of the EMA ribbons at $55,800 and also above towards the 20 daily moving average right here at $57,000 dollars at the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement where we could face some huge resistance here is where things then are starting to get interesting because the RSI right now is also below the 50 level so if we are able to bring the RSI again above the 50 level and also start to close daily candles above the 20 daily moving average so above $57,000 then I think we are out of the woods and we should be looking towards new all-time highs and the potential scenario that we could create here a lower high in my opinion is almost denied because if we can confirm again the 20 daily moving average at $57,000 as a new support then I'm pretty confident that the move is over here, this big correction phase is over and we are heading again towards new all-time highs. But as I told you my friends, here between $57,000 and here $61,000, this is going to be the most important moment for Bitcoin once we are reaching those levels up here and this is where we should then think about to maybe take some profits here if we're going to create a lower high in order to buy the dip if we are entering in a prolonged correction phase. But at the other hand, although we're going to have uh, to see what will happen, because if we're able to push higher, then I think uh, we're going to head straight towards new all time highs. And in my opinion, the next potential resistance area is at around $70,000. And if here we are able to pick up again with our bull market, we're going to see big explosive moves to the upside because with this correction here, we have cooled off all kind of indicators. Doesn't matter what kind of indicator we have cooled off all of them. You can see that also the stochastic RSI, like I also told you in yesterday's video, is completely flat. We also have MACD in oversold condition, even more oversold than in the Corona dump in March 2020. And in my own indicator, we are getting a buy signal. And if we are also able to bring the RSI after being completely oversold back above 50, this would be extremely bullish. And in that case, I think that we could head towards new all time highs without any prolonged correction phase here. And many people are texting me and telling me that the pie cycle indicator flashed to sell. So that's why we're going to have a look into that. Because so far, yes, it's correct. It flashed to sell at $62,000 and so far it was correct. So if you believe in the Pi Cycle top indicator, then you should also start to go and buy more Bitcoin right now because the Pi Cycle indicator is again receding and it's telling you again to go long. And after this correction phase that we had, you can see that the moving averages again are cooling off. And if you're trading based on the Pi Cycle indicator, that means that you should now again look for longs and go again all in because in theory here, based on the Pi Cycle indicator, we should be again heading towards new all time highs and towards a big bull market here, which in my opinion could be legit because after 2013, after the first local top, like we could also got here, we also got a long signal right after the first local top and that was the only one that was legit and also played out because after the first local top in 2013, we got also a long signal and afterwards we started a parabolic run up towards the real cycle top of 2013. 13 way above the first local top so based on the pi cycle indicator we should be now back into our bull run and we should be looking towards new all-time highs so the theory that we could maybe now create a lower high or we're gonna enter into a bear market just based on the pi cycle indicator is denied for now because it's flashing again to go long and I checked this also with the BLX ticker or with the Bitcoin index everywhere we have now this signal flashing that we should go again long. So that's why in my opinion it's going to be very interesting to see what will happen here between $57,000 to $61,000 because uh, this could be really the only bearish signal that we could enter into a prolonged bear market or correction phase if we are getting a lower high in the daily time frame but otherwise all other indicators are pointing out that we're gonna continue our bull market and we should be looking for new all-time highs in the not so distant future since now also the pi cycle indicator is turning bullish again so I hope after that you're not texting me again that the pie cycle indicator is flashing to sell 
uh, in the opposite it's now back into bullish mode and that's why I'm still keeping up with my long position and I'm adding more into my long position if we're gonna have this $51,000 retest but of course here between $57 to $61,000 I might take some profits or also put a stop loss because if here we're failing to go higher then of course th this could be a warning sign that we are entering in a prolonged uh, correction phase because in order to have confirmation that we are heading again towards new all-time highs and we got and we don't gonna see any more corrections here at least for now we need to start close daily candles above the 20 daily moving average so above fifty-seven thousand dollars and of course we also want money flow to increase here like we had in the past because if money flow is turning into negative here in the daily time frame uh, this could be also a warning sign that this is just a little breather and we're gonna continue towards uh, uh, maybe the 200 daily moving average because that would be in theory the next potential support if here we are failing to hold these 57 to 58 thousand dollar support because yesterday we had a close below the 100 daily moving average so below 49 thousand seven hundred dollars that was quite critical but uh, we immediately had this big pump today so that is a good sign because if we would lose here the 100 daily moving average in theory the next potential big support is down here at the 200 daily moving average at $35,000 and now you may ask why not the 20 weekly moving average of course yes the 20 weekly moving average could be also acting as a very strong support level but you can see that the 20 weekly moving average is rising up week by week and we are now very very close to the 20 weekly moving average it's right here at around forty six thousand dollars so we are very close to this moving average and we can almost say that we are testing right now this moving average we are almost there so if we're gonna start to consolidate here for a couple of weeks and the 20 weekly moving average is coming to us then we can say that we have tested it and we then should have a big bounce to the upside because Bitcoin loves to test the 20 weekly moving average during a bull run and then continue with uh, its parabolic moves uh, to the upside so that's why right now I'm not pretty sure that we are out of the woods yet I still want to see that we are trading again above the 20 daily moving average so above 57 to 61 K and then also not create a lower high because then the chances are very high that we are getting rejected here and we're gonna continue our correction down to the 20 weekly moving average and in the worst case even down towards the 200 daily moving average before then we continue our bull market but this bottom here that we are seeing right now at around $48,000 is very bullish and in my opinion we have now again the chance to see new all-time highs if we are able to take out this critical zone up here so let me know in the comment section my friends what are you thinking are we gonna go towards a new all-time highs now or are we gonna create here a lower high and then continue our correction phase let me know what are your thoughts and now that we have covered Bitcoin and we're looking extremely bullish here, let's go over to Ethereum because although Ethereum is currently pushing higher and I told you also yesterday, my friends, that Ethereum is looking extremely bullish here and the chart is looking even better than the Bitcoin one. And here you can see that we are already pushing towards the 0.786 Fibonacci retracement at $2,530. So let's see if here we are able to create new all-time highs. I think that could be a leading indicator then also for Bitcoin. What comes next also for Bitcoin if Ethereum is able to create new all-time highs highs here only if we're getting rejected here at two thousand five hundred dollars where also here in the past we had a lot of uh, resistance then uh, this move could be denied and this uh, could be also a warning sign for bitcoin that we maybe are coming up to these levels and then uh, we're getting rejected same in bitcoin so let's hope that ethereum here is able to push higher because if we are able to create new all-time highs here uh, you can see that we could form here this double bottom formation in the daily time frame and the measurement move here if we're gonna see a breakout to the upside so if we're gonna break above two thousand five hundred dollars 
and this is a valid double bottom formation then we could see ethereum go towards three thousand dollars exactly at the 1.618 fibonacci extension level from the top that we had so far at two thousand six hundred forty dollars and the bottom that we created here at two thousand one hundred dollars so if here we have a successful breakout to the upside, we could see a $3,000 Ethereum coming up with this next big move to the upside. And uh, you can see that this is perfectly coinciding with the Fibonacci extension level. So right now I'm quite curious uh, what is the Fibonacci extension here on the Bitcoin price because this would be up here at $80,000 so if Bitcoin is catching up with Ethereum if Ethereum is reaching $3,000 I think the chances are also here that Bitcoin could go towards uh, $80,000 but of course to reach this high level uh, we need here to break uh, several uh, resistance uh, areas, especially this one here, um, the $70,000. And uh, if we are reaching this 80K target, you can see that we would be very, very close uh, to this previous uh, red trend line, which previously acted as a support and now it could be acting as a new resistance. So yes, it is possible that with this move, we could even reach 80K and here top out or get a local top. Um, it is possible, uh, but uh, yeah, I think that's why we should keep a very close eye here on the Ethereum uh, price action. And if Ethereum is really able to reach this price target here, I think also Bitcoin could reach the 80K mark uh, uh, in these next coming days and weeks. Um, yeah, Ethereum is looking extremely bullish. I'm expecting continuation to the upside. Also here we are still trending above all the important moving averages above the EMA ribbon and yeah, everything is still bullish here for Ethereum. That's why I told you my friends also yesterday Ethereum is looking way more bullish and I think um, it could be a leading indicator for where uh, Bitcoin is heading to next. And um, the other good thing is, of course, the DXY, which is completely falling off the cliffs here. We lost the 100 daily moving average as a support for now. If today we're going to close below $91, uh, then we're going to continue lower towards $90, our next potential support. And that is very much in favor for the crypto and stock market, my friend. So if the DXY uh, continues to fall down towards $90 and even below that, then I think we could very easily shoot up towards 80K in the Bitcoin price. And also for Ethereum, uh, we're gonna go straight towards $3,000. And that doesn't mean that there we're gonna top out, but at least that would be the breakout target uh, if the DXY continues to fall here. That would be very much in favor for us. So the DXY is looking extremely bearish here. And if we confirm now the 100 daily moving average as a new resistance, I think this was already it, this uh, big breeder. And we're going to continue our bear market here in the DXY. And if we're going to have a look now into NASDAQ, which is also still struggling here to break through this resistance again here of $14,000, then we also here should expect a big breakout to the upside and big continuations towards our bullish target of $15,000 here in the NASDAQ mini futures. So if the DXY continues to plunge, uh, I'm also bullish here for NASDAQ and you can see that also here we cooled off the indicator and uh, we should be now gearing up for a big move towards our bullish target. Unless, of course, we're going to close again daily candles below the 9 and 20 daily moving average. So even if we come back down to test the 20 daily here at the $13,700, we should still be bullish here and look forward towards new all time highs. So you can see my friends with this nice uh, pump that we had today the chances are very high that we're gonna see follow through if we are getting here another retest of $51,000 take it as a good long and buy opportunity because right now the rally is starting towards $57,000 to $61,000 we're gonna have to climb up here step by step to the upside next resistance if right now we are confirming uh, $53,000 as a support because as you can see with this hourly close now we are above the 200 moving average if we can maintain above $53,000 then I think the next step would be to reach here 55 then 57 and then finally $61,000 and then we're gonna have to see what will happen lower high or continuation of the bull market potentially towards $80,000 
So with that said guys, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. If you like the content, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos and also check out all my referral links to the recommended exchanges here because all of them gives you some extra money and some extra bonus. Also follow me in my other channels and a big shout out to our great crypto trading chat over on Discord. If you want to join our Discord community, make sure to use the invitation link, then go here to read first and click on this thumbs up button to confirm that you're a human and not a bot. Like this, you have free access to the trading chat. And if you also want to have access to my own indicator, which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin, then you have to contact me directly here on Discord with a private message because a small donation is needed in order to get access to the live stream. Otherwise, just get a YouTube membership directly here on YouTube and then contact me over on Discord. Like this, you also have free access to the live stream indicator. So thank you again very much for watching, my friends, and we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye!